what it do? 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 What it do, YouTube? It's your boy CJ. Today we got a very special video for you guys. Today we are going to be installing the MHD CAN Flex Fuel Analyzer. Uh, installing this, it helps read your E30 or ethanol contents. Uh, helps you adjust like the ethanol. So uh, once you guys flash the map, it'll help analyze the fuel content and be easier for like the the readings and all that good stuff and give you more power but anyways this is going to be an install video uh where i show you guys how to do it install it on the uh x3 uh, g series uh but anyways let's get into the video f quick little uh you know fit check shout out to my eagles man drop a comment we going back to back this year but anyways i'd like to give a shout out to my boy josh man for giving me a little reference video Make sure you guys go check out his channel. He also has an X3. Uh, been helping me out with like content, you know, all that good stuff. But anyways, let's go get into the video. I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing with a POV with a little head mount thing. So let's get into it. And I forgot to mention, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys watch through the whole video to the end. Don't skip, please. Helps out the channel grow. Uh, helps out with the algorithm. So Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to you guys, man. I appreciate every single one of you guys. We just hit 100 subs, so big shout out to you guys. It means a lot that people are watching the channel. You know, I consider myself like a little car guy and all that. But honestly, this is my first time like modding, messing around with the car this much. Uh, but anyways, let's get into the installing. All right, opening up the box, checking it out. I got this used on Facebook Marketplace, so I got a G-Series full I, I hope this is right but anyways this was originally for a supra they both got the b58 here we got some goodies here is the actual uh fitting the little adapter let me take all these cords real quick so this one uh will connect to one of the units on the dme and then uh yeah then this thing is a little ground I'll show you guys the grounding and uh, mounting points. And then this thing comes with the two U-fittings. This thing, oh, drop that, but it's all right. Let's go connect to this. I'm gonna figure this out. Got some safety glasses. The homie that uses probably took the gloves from me, but it's all good. I'm about to be grabbing some gloves right now. But anyways, this, the connector, we're going to figure this out. I'm not too sure where this connects, but we're going to throw on these safety glasses. All right, y'all. So first things first, you guys want to disconnect the battery. I'm going to go ahead take and disconnect it real quick. All right. So once the battery is disconnected, you want to leave it up over here where it is not going to be touching anything like so it goes to here like so let me see Alright y'all, so next you guys want to remove this, if you guys have the G Series X3, because the OEM fuel line is right here. We're going to figure this thing out, but uh, let's see, place that thing right there, and we're also going to have to take this cover off, so literally just unlock it, pull, and then the, the thing should mount somewhere over here. So we're just going to put these things to the side real quick. Alright, so now what we want to do is con uh, disconnect this little thing right here. You see this little gray thing? I'm going to take this off. Make sure you guys don't lose this. In every install video, they will emphasize on the, the importance of not losing this thing. So make sure my dumbass don't drop it real quick. So what we're going to do is pull this up, push down and up. Uh, let's put these things right here real quick 
So down, pull them up. All right. Then a little fuel is leaking, so like so. So we are gonna be mounting it something like this. First things first, you wanna pull up, push down, pull on it a little, make sure that thing is secure. Then next, I believe we could connect this. If I could find back over here to this other J fitted. Right there, right there. So, oh, fuck. And this one, I believe, is just, you just push that bitch down. Let's see. Push it down like so. I hear that click. Make sure that thing is secured. Just like so. Next, I'm going to try to swivel this around. Put this great clip back here. All right, after everything's set up with your fuel lines, you can now disconnect this bad boy. So, I believe this one... Let me see. Is this a push tab? Yep. So this is going to be... I'm going to clip it on both sides and wiggle this bad boy out. So right now... Bring this little wire over there. <sighs> Give it a quick little... Like the Nintendo 64s. Next, we can grab our harness. Organize a little bit where this thing is going to run somehow like this. So it's gonna run it like this. Bring our ground wire over here. Leave it like this for now. This connects to here, which is the adapter. Feel it click into place, make sure it's secured. This harness. This one connects to here. So click that in, hear that click. And then this harness. Okay, that's on. Make sure the connections are secure. And they do give you some zip ties so you guys can uh, make everything look a little more cleaner, you know what I'm saying? Something like so. Getting all the excess out. Fixing that bad boy. Next, we're going to be connecting it to this wire right, uh, ground right here. It is a 13 millimeter bolt. Oh, ass ratchet. Come on. There. Take your ground. And we are going to finesse it right in here like so. Once that is connected, you're going to tighten this bad boy back up like so. That is secure. Whew. But first, I'm going to be reorganizing the wiring because I don't like how I did it. Be grabbing our zip. Bring it up and around, finessing it. Next, we're gonna grab one for all this wa these wires right here. All right. Then we're gonna grab one of these ones for the wires. Button everything up, make it sure it looks nice. Then make sure our cover fits. Lock it back into place, like so. Then clean this up a little again. Do have wires running through here, so it's gonna look a little what you call it, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Next, 
we want to make sure our fittings are good this thing is probably not going to fit anymore but we're going to have to do something like finesse this because these will probably not go back into place so you guys can see but we're going to leave it like that for now you're going to be all right once everything's all cleaned up uh, your wiring is good we are going to be checking uh, reconnecting the battery actually then um, running up to the front making sure there's no leaks and then we're going to be testing it out on our phone make sure uh, the ethanol is going to be reading so reconnecting our terminal like so back up this down hit a quick little Ugh. all right push that back in place put my toes back where I found them put the shoes back in the whip all right making sure there's no leaks on your fittings here and here very important. Let's see, ethanol content.